here we are. <laughs> Come on, Sarah, wait. Be careful now. Oh, well, Hurry up. Oh, Hurry up. Oh, oh, Let's get this stuff inside. Oh, 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 Lovely magic, a magic bower. Talking to yourself again, Anthea? Talking to yourself doesn't necessarily mean you're mad. <laughs> Bob, Bob, I found a rabbit hut. Anything in it? No, but I'd love a rabbit. I'm going to make a wish. That's no good. I told you, Jane, it's no good just wishing for things. Come on, Bob, let's come and explore this way. Oh. Look sharp now. That carriage is needed to take Madam back to the station. Oh. Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> oh, dear. It seems such a muddle to leave you in. Don't you worry, ma'am. We shall sort it. Oh. <laughs> now, I told the children they must be especially good. Had a good word with Master Robert, did you? <laughs> oh, he doesn't mean to be naughty. Oh, and I have told them that they're to look after their little brother. Take him off your hands sometimes. Take the lamb that's to trouble, ma'am. Good as gold, bless his heart. <laughs> Freedom! Oh. <laughs> oh. I know, I just found This must be the place Father told me about. He says it's thousands of years old. Feels like it. It's funny. Sort of empty, but not empty, if you know what I mean. Will it do? Which yes. wonderful little magic has just swing 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 And down that way, mm -hmm. a big sort of sandy place. Oh, nearly as good as the seaside. Really? Oh, darlings, I'm so pleased you like it. <laughs> if you're straight off back to London, ma'am, I shall have to know what's what. Are they to be let play just anywhere? Oh, Mother, please. We've been stuck in stuffy old London for ages. It's two whole years since we went to the seaside. Please. Well, are they to be let go? Oh, I think so, Martha. After all, they're perfectly sensible children. I'm sure nothing very much can happen to them around here. Hooray! <laughs> That's time I was going. Be good, darlings. I will. I'll be back as soon as ever I can. Look after Jane <laughs> and Robert. Be good. Love to Granny. Right, Have soon. a good journey. I'm going to wish you back soon. Start digging for Australia first thing in the morning. Yes. <laughs> Here they come. Hope they've got the lemonade. They've got the lamb. Oh no! Is this it? Oh, he's asleep, bless him. Doesn't look much like the seaside. Well, Father told Cyril it was once. And there might be shells and fossils and things, thousands of years old. Hmm. Well, come and help. There. I think you've made it too big. Do they really walk upside down? What? In Australia? Oh, we thought Australia might be a bit far. It's uh, a castle now. Hmm. Castle's no fun without the sea coming in. Oh, I'm going to look for fossils. 
We'll spread it out and build up the ramparts. I'm not afraid of snakes. I could tame it and let it sleep by my neck at night. Not in the same room as me, you won't. Oh, don't be silly. It's not a rat or a snake. It's got feet. I saw them and fur. Well, don't you hurt it. Look, I know this sounds silly, but it said something. Oh, it really and truly did. Come off it, Panther. It did. It said, you let me alone. You've gone off your nut. Oh! Not the fur again. You let me alone. You see? I, I don't told believe you. it. I don't believe it. Come out. <laughs> we want to see you. I wish you would. Oh, well, if that's your wish. I believe I must have dropped to sleep. What is it? Does she always talk nonsense? Or is it just the rubbish on her head that makes her silly? Oh, please don't be cross. We just want to know uh, who you are. You don't know? Well, I knew the world had changed. But do you mean to tell me seriously that you don't know a Samiad when you see one? A Samiad? That's Greek to me. Well, in plain English, then. A sand fairy. A fairy? Oh, of course. I see you are now. It's plain as a pike staff. <laughs> oh, please don't go. I didn't know you were a sand fairy. But I knew the minute I saw you that you were much the wonderfulest thing I'd ever seen. Don't go. You will. All right. If you talk to me nicely, perhaps I'll answer you, and perhaps I won't. Now, say something. Say something. How long have you lived here? Oh, ages. Several thousand years. Oh, tell us about it, please. Oh, we don't know anything about you. You are so nice. I am the last of the Samiads. Why? What happened to the others? The nasty, wet, bubbling sea came in and in. And of course, as soon as a sand fairy got wet, it caught cold and died. And did you get wet? Only once. The end of the twelfth hair of my top left whisker. I can still feel the place in damp weather. <sighs> Are pterodactyls plentiful now? What do you have for breakfast? Um, porridge. And toast and things. In those days, there were heaps of sand fairies, and they could all grant wishes. Wishes? And in the mornings, the children would go down to the seashore and wish for a pterodactyl for breakfast. But they're enormous! Even Bob's could eat one of those for breakfast. Yes, I could. I haven't finished. Naturally, what was left over at sunset turned to stone. Of course. Fossils. And now I'm not going to tell you another thing. Oh, just one more. Please. Can you... Can you still give wishes? Of course. Didn't I just give you yours? You said I wish you'd come out, and I did. Oh, please make me have another. Oh, very well. But hurry up with it. I'm tired of you. Come on, let's talk about this. What are we going to wish? Oh, I don't know. Oh, well, you're the oldest. Oh, my. You wish. Oh, I don't, oh, I don't know what to wish. What about the one we're always talking about? What's that? You'll have to be quick. Oh, please. Oh. I wish we were all as beautiful as today. Pfft. 
It's no good. I must be out of practice. Thank goodness for that. Oh, please try again. You've already had one wish. If you're going to come bothering me with wishes, I can only manage one a day. Oh, please. I hope it won't hurt itself or crack its skin. <laughs> That's all right. It'll come easier tomorrow. Did it hurt much? Only my poor whisker. Good day. me, but have you seen Anthea? I know that darn in your pinafore. Jay? Cyril? Crikey! The wish has come off. Hooray! How do I look? Well, I liked you better before. You all look like Christmas cards. Silly Christmas cards. Oh no! The lamb! Oh, he's just the same. I expect he's too young for wishes. How much longer are we going to look like this? Robert, I've just had the most truly awful thought. Sunset. What? The pterodactyls turn to stone at sunset. That's what the Satmiad said. Yes, but they were what people wished for. So are we, sort of. What if we turn to stone? Ah! Cyril, he doesn't know me. It's awful. Ah! Having to make friends with your own baby. You wished it. Suppose you stay like it forever. Or turn to stone at sunset. Ah! Be quiet, Robert. It's her fault, always wishing things. It's my fault. I wished it. It's no good rowing. I want some dinner. It's all right, Puscat. Come on. Mark spot. <laughs> Thanks for your sight back. Where are the others? I know the goodness gracious are all of you. We're us, of course. Well, who's us when you're at home? I tell you, it's us. Only we're beautiful as the day. Clear off. Come on, then. Look, Martha, clear off, I said. I'm Cyril, and these are the others, and we're jolly hungry. Let us in, and don't be an idiot. Well, I never. Drat your impudence! different, but I'm Anthea, and we're ravenous, and it's long past our dinner time. Then go home to your dinners, whoever you are. Oi! If you don't take yourselves off, I'll fetch the police! Oh, do come away before we get sent to prison! Sarah, fetch it here! The law of England can't put you in prison for being beautiful. Well, we just sit here till sunset, I suppose, and see what happens. We're all going to turn to stone any minute. 
I know we are. If we do come out of this all right, we'll ask the Samia to make it so the servants don't notice anything, whatever wishes we have. I can't feel my foot. It's turned to stone. Oh, no. Perhaps he's just gone to sleep. The Sand Fairy said it would give us another wish tomorrow. It wouldn't have said that if we were going to turn to stone. Or would it? Wasted what some little starving children would get their eyes for. We did try and come back for dinner. Oh, and what stopped you, pray? You were saying next I did. You could count yourselves lucky if I let you have supper. Go on! And you best give yourself a thorough good clean up first. They were a good looking lot, I must say. That impudent. I know. that time, you naughty things. In the lane. The children who were as beautiful as the day, they kept us there. You don't know how we hated them. I should think so. Now mind, if you see them again, don't you say one word to them. You come and you tell me. I'll spoil their beauty for them. <laughs> This morning. Nothing to boast of. It had rather a restless night. Well, do you feel up to giving wishes? And we'd actually like a little extra wish, as well as our regular one. Well, what is it? We don't want the servants to notice the wishes you give us. <laughs> or kind enough to give us. And thank you very much. Done. What's today's wish? We want to be rich. Beyond the dreams of something or other. Avarice. How much do you want? And will you have it in gold or notes? Gold, please. <laughs> and millions of it. This place full be enough? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Then you'd better get out quick, or you'll be buried in it. Quick, quick. I hope your whisker will be better tomorrow. Thank you! And much good may it do you! Oh. It's not sovereign! It's gold anyway! Well done! Oh, well done! Well done. Then. Let's fill our pockets and go and buy things. We might all turn to stone at sunset. It's as heavy as stone as it is. <laughs> I know. There's a pony and cart in the village. Shall we buy it? No, silly. Hire it. And then we can go and buy bags of things. Yes. yes. Eagle, up and down the city, eagle, eagle, 
Afternoon. Do you know what this is? That's a spade guinea, I reckon. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Yours, is it? Oh, yes. And please, could you drive us to town? There's four of us. Well, five, really. <laughs> but the lamb's at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I reckon. <laughs> Just think, kings of all we survey. I'm going to buy two rabbits. At least two. <laughs> Mr Crispy, if you were going to buy a carriage and horses, where would you go? Really peace, Marsh, I reckon. Saracen's head. Your pa going to buy a carriage, is he? <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> Oh. Wait, shall I take you back? Um, no, thank you very much. Ready, we're here! <laughs> Ready? Yes! Now remember, Mark is in town. Thank you very much, Mr. Crispin. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. 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 When you want your heart's desire, and there's nothing but the fire of a madly yearning wild imagination. When all you have to do is choose, and if you don't, you're bound to lose. Something special in your life will pass you by. Castles in the air, or a chest of purest gold. Cast aside despair, start a quest before you're old. Try wishing a little harder every day. Wishing to chase the clouds away. In the twinkling of an eye, you'll grow tall or even fly. You don't know until you try, so do. And with the magic that you 